Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In today's episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we're going to go through some interesting principles that were brought out through Napoleon Hill's Outwitting the Devil. But before I go there, I need to explain to you what the devil is. The devil is what Carl Jung would call the shadow self. It is the part of the mind that creates negativity in one's world. And the important thing to understand is that the devil works through something called hypnotic rhythm. Hypnotic rhythm is represented in nature. When you notice how the seasons all come together, one after the other, just as they're supposed to. Or, if you plant a seed of an oak tree, you always get an oak tree. You don't end up with an apple tree. So there's natural laws that we have in the world in terms of nature and how nature works. To bring it to another level, to give you a better understanding of what this hypnotic rhythm is about, it goes into the mind. So let's say you're learning how to play the piano. You have to first memorize the notes, then you add in the rhythm and the melody, and it gets repeated over and over and over again until it can just be played automatically. So the main point here where the devil is concerned is how one controls their thoughts. A definite major purpose is one of the most important things that a person can have to keep them on the path to doing well in life. Because it keeps the mind structured to do productive, positive things. So the negativity of the devil's thoughts are not able to come in. So there's a few ideas here that I wanted to share with you that was in the book, which I believe will be very helpful to those of you to understand how to better take control of your mind, especially during this time of the coronavirus 19. Because as you'll see, propaganda is one of the ways that the devil has to overtake your mind using fear. So let's get into this. Number one, think for yourself. Assess everything that comes into your life. Two, have a definite chief aim so that you have a future based on what it is that you want. And with that, you can create your success. Three, analyze everything. And make sure that you take your defeats and abstract from them the seed of advantage. Four, be willing to undertake service in direct proportion for all of the material things that you desire. And render the service first. Five, engage your brain into receiving that which can be attuned to receive the information from the infinite source of universal intelligence to help you transmute your desires into the external existence of the materials you so desire. Six, Recognize that your greatest asset is time, other than thought, which can be shaped with whatever material things you want. 
Budget your time so none of it is wasted. 7. Recognize the truth that anything that is unused portion of your mind is occupied by the devil. However, if you stretch your mind, you can control those thoughts so that the devil, the negativity, does not enter. 8. When you pray, don't beg. Demand what you want and insist upon getting exactly that without any substitution. 9. Recognize that life is meant to be mastered and you master it or it will master you. There is no halfway or compromise. Never accept anything from life that you do not want. If something shows up that you do not want, you feel its force on you, you can take control of your mind and get what you want. Number 10, be careful what thoughts you dwell upon. Because if you allow the negativity and fear to come in, the devil will have you. Fear will take over. Be definite in all things you do. And form the habits that will help you to achieve your definite purpose. Bringing all the things from the material into your life that you so desire. It is our thoughts that create our reality as we go through our lives. And to remember always that you can change the state of your thoughts when they're not working for you by taking a definite action in the direction in which you would like your life to go. So keep the devil away by keeping your mind, meaning keeping your mind on that which is important to you, not allowing propaganda of the fear machine to render you incapable of making your own choices for the best you have to offer this world. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy, Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you.